The Spokane Police Department has launched new community outreach program. It's aimed to bridge the gap between law enforcement and youth. KXY Force Katie Curry working for you with more details on this program and how it's actually benefiting the community. Katie? Nadine, the program is called the Youth and Police Initiative, and it's a week-long program. This week it was it was held at the gate located right behind me, and it works to promote positive interaction between police and youth, all so they can better understand one another. It made me feel very intimidated, and I felt like I was very uncomfortable. Shatara Parker's initial reaction to law enforcement is pretty common among many young people, something the Spokane Police Department is wanting to change with the Youth and Police Initiative. Engage the community, uh, to engage our young people, to get over stereotypes, to talk about how do we talk to each other in a respectful manner. Chief Frank Straub has successfully implemented the program in New York and Indiana, which benefits include reducing street violence among youth. He is not the only one who is positive about the outlook of the program in Spokane. We get to learn about the cops' personal life. The cops get to know about our own personal life. And it's just a great way to understand each other and get involved. The hope is that police and young people see one another for who they really are. And the biggest thing with the program is seeing people as individuals. I'm a person underneath my uniform, right? Uh, a young person is a person besides their hairstyle or their pants or the glasses they wear. And breaking through those barriers and starting to talk to each other as people is really what the success of this program is all about. And so far, it's working. Well, it definitely opened up my eyes to know that they are actually people too, and they definitely, I can connect with them a lot more now. Cops are all right, honestly. Now, the participating youths were selected for the program by community leaders. Reporting live in Hilliard tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.